What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another video. So I did say that the next video was supposed to be on the E30 but there has been a short change of plan due to the fact that I have this opportunity with my cousin to do a video on not one SI but two Civic SI. In today's video we will be doing a comparison between the 9th generation SI and the 10th generation SI which is right behind you guys right now. Check this out, ready? Boom, right there, the 10th gen SI, 9th gen SI. Two beautiful cars, one's faster than the other, but definitely has the pros and cons between the two generation. Um, definitely a big, big upgrade, but before we get into today's video, I wanna give a huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring the video. Raid Shadow Legends is an RPG game that has everything from a large variety of badass characters to a bunch of tough bosses. Raid Shadow Legends is a role playing game that literally has everything that you look for in a RPG game. This game is so popular that it has millions of active players and millions of downloads all over the world. But that's not all though guys. My favorite feature of this game is the PvP battle that I get to play amongst the millions of players online. If you guys need help with anything, Raid Shadow Legends has a very large community on Discord where you can ask for help or go search up YouTube videos that is very helpful. Either way, you guys are covered. But the most important thing of all is that Raid has just released their biggest update ever, which is the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, lots of secret challenge rooms, and 12 insane bosses to take on. With the help from the Raid team, they're giving away lots of free goodies, and one of them being a super special champion, Bulwark. Bulwark's gonna be very helpful in the tower against those bosses. All you have to do is hit the link in the description and you'll get a free Void Champion, 50 gems, XP boosters and an ancient shard. All these treasures will be waiting for you right here on the top right. You already know what to do. Before we get started, let me just ask you guys real quick. How many of you like the newer generation Civic over the older generation Civic? So let me know down below because me personally at first, I did not like the new generation whatsoever. It's, it, it was ugly, you know what I mean? Um, the design of it, it did not catch my eye whatsoever. But over time, the look kind of grew on me. I don't know if that's the same for you guys, but the front end looks pretty aggressive in my opinion. But this one right here, it's a coupe. I think I personally like the sedan way more. I don't know. That's just me, right? But check this out. We got this coupe right here. And we got a sedan over here. The first year of the ninth generation and obviously the 10th gen. The cousin's car is actually all stock except for a cat back exhaust. So in the video today we're just gonna be you know going through looking at what this car right here has that is better than my car and if my car has anything that could possibly possibly be better than the uh, 10th gen which I highly doubt but maybe there could be something maybe there isn't so First and foremost, the interior looks amazing, I'd say. Seats are way better. The technology is super, super advanced compared to that one over there. That one need to step up. But my car is just one year away from getting some better technology. Say what's up, Steven. What's up, what's up? Yeah, this is his car right here. If you were to pick between the two, which one would you pick, bro? Of course, the 10th gen. Come on, man. Nah, come on, bro. Don't say that. Man. Come on, who, 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 who's gonna agree with him? I know the night gen is slower, but you know, you know what if, what if the looks, you know, can, can beat everything, right? Maybe at the end of this video, we can, you know, pull a couple of runs where I know I'm going to be in the, in the, you know, in the back, in the back. Let's go ahead and see what your car has that is better than mine. All right, so this is how it feels to be in a brand new car, huh? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Man, I don't know that feeling, bro. Damn, with the push start, that's something I don't know. But the 2013 maybe might have it. I don't know. The 2013 might have it or 14. Okay. All these new features that I don't have. Well, mine's it has another screen right here. I feel like this audio deck right here, the 14 and 15 might have it as well. Dude, this is sick. like to be yep. fast bro? Yep, yep. Yeah? This would feel like to be fast. Man, I've always wanted to own a coupe. A little fun fact, when I had my car a few years back, I was like tempted to go trade in that car 
to go get a 14 coupe but I don't know I'm kind of glad that I didn't something I noticed right here in his car straight off the bat is that this piece right here is carbon fiber and right here that's definitely adding some style for the interior that's one thing I know for sure um, I've actually test drove his car before and driving the car the clutch and how everything feels is like so smooth like I don't know how to really explain it but it was like buttery if you were to buy a car like this and to learn manual with it with it being your first car I think it was, it's like something that's very possible because I think that's what you did right yeah this is my first car learning manual yeah so yeah. this is his first car learning manual in I actually learned driving manual in a 92 Integra a 92 Integra then a Prelude and then this car that I have now but my very first car though, it was actually automatic, so. The key difference between my car and his car is obviously right here. For those of you that don't know, his car is actually boosted. So therefore, it's obviously faster than my car. I think the horsepower is about the same, right? Yeah, it's like 205. It's yeah, see, his is about 205. My, I didn't, I don't know exactly, like 20, 20 something, but definitely not as fast as his. But is it worth it to do it in California? I don't know. I feel like if for those of you that actually live in California and has ever been pulled over before, like y'all would actually understand what we go through with the whole, um, you know, the whole regulations with cops and our cars being modified because it's super annoying. The homie is home. Man, he made a very, very big upgrade. Oh, damn, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, like I was saying, he made a very big upgrade to the car that he had before. He had a nice gen SI too, but this is his car now. What's up, man? Honda boy for life. Huh? Honda boy for life. Uh, he's still a Honda boy though, guys. He's Honda boys out. It is actually a brand new day. We're just gonna do a couple of pulls in this car and do it in my car just to see the difference between our two cars. 10 Gen SI, show me what you got. Woo! Dude, it's torquey, I'll give you that. I, you feel it. You can definitely feel when it wants to pick up too, and that, I can't say that I feel that in my car. You know what I mean? We're gonna be doing a second pull, second gear. Ready? One, two, three. Dude, that's crazy. My lord. I don't know how to explain that feeling to you guys, but I mean, I'd have to say that this is, uh, you know, faster Civic than mine. You know what I mean? It has to be, right? It's a 10th generation SI. Now it's my car's turn to give it its shot. So my car better not fail on me. So the very, very first thing that I noticed that is super different. Dude, my clutch is so much more stiffer than his car. I feel like my legs I don't have muscles or something, bro. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have muscles in my leg. This guy. I'm gonna let Steven do a couple of pulls in the faster Civic. <laughs> Just kidding, definitely not. Six seconds. Like right. Alright, go for it. Bro, this is nothing, man. I'm, I, I hate to say it, but. Oh, no, this is nothing. Huh? Huh? This is nothing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not it? No. 
Hey man, you gotta cut my car some slack, bro. <laughs> Realistically, which car would you modify doing all the performance mods? The 9th gen or the 10th gen? Let us know down below. All right, to conclude today's video, we're gonna be ending the video with a couple of runs with Steven's car and my car. Um, honestly, I am pretty excited to see how this goes. I know who's gonna win, but it's just to see the power difference, right? I wanna see how it goes. Two, two little four bangers going at it. Roll that 25. I roll that It's the driver. It's the driver, bro. Hey, if he does better this time, well, it's gonna be. We know what's the driver, reason. It's the driver. It's the driver. Alright, so we finally we made it. <laughs> Steve, it's not funny, bro. It's not funny. <laughs> we made it back, and you guys can see from the clips. I technically did not lose. I did not lose because I was the driver for both cars. So that pretty much concludes it for today's vlog. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I sure did because I got to see which car was faster. I got, I got to understand the differences between the two generations. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, hit the like button, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.